move and at the same time like I have to reset and keep on doing it for the uh, alligator you had to like repeat it and every single time um, it opens its mouth, you have to have some type of interval between it. Is there a longer one? Yeah. I told you. Yeah. And then you have to have another part that reverses it. So was it that and close. you just didn't know at first what each um, like part, part of the coding language did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah. I mean, we did having a guide as far as like, this is what, so have to like basically understand the language. I guess initially, initially finding out like where like directions were, how to just figure it out at first. Because mm -hmm. there wasn't very like, like there wasn't really, like a lot of directions like where to go and stuff. But. So that's why I said you liked that, that there was no directions? Correct. Okay, so being able to explore. I guess the fun part of it was like just finding out, like seeing it, seeing it actually work, like seeing you put together it actually work. Having a variety of designs to choose from was fun, but at the same time, not having all the parts that are required <laughs> for those designs was a challenge. Where is it? Kind of like adding on to what Prince Zimmerman said, I think that you guys could do like, like just give it to them to start out with, and then you could like, as they keep trying it, and if you see people struggling, you could be like, oh hey, I have um, instructions if you want them. So then they have somewhere to go back to if they're like completely lost. Especially I think like if you have like really young kids in here, like third graders, then that would be hard for them especially. Because like I'm a ninth grader and I struggled with some things, so. Small yeah. <laughs> well.